Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be brief. It is my intention to prove to you here today, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that my sponsors for Lock and Load with Bill Frady, the syndicated radio show I do daily, are the best in the world. Allow me to show you Exhibit A from Franklin Armory and Tactical Solutions. We have a Ruger 1022 breakdown that I think is the ultimate 22. Allow me to present my case, please. Hello there, YouTube, Rumble, Lock and Load Ninjas, interwebs at large. With all the bad news going around out there today, I decided to do something to take my mind off of yet once again and uh, bring you something that I kind of think is sort of special. This is a Ruger 1022, a takedown Ruger 1022. And it has been redone by a company called Tactical Solutions. And just that alone is pretty special. But it hasn't just been redone by Tactical Solutions. It also has a binary trigger on it from Franklin Armory. This Franklin Armory sent me this. Um, <clears throat> let's do an overview, shall we? Just a, you know, first of all, this gun, um, I'm going to have to sign some paperwork for this gun because item number one, it's not going back. Franklin Armory sent me many guns over the course of time. And when I got this one and I actually took it out on the range, I, uh, I've never been a big, I've never owned a 22. I don't own a 22 as of this moment. And this would be the first one. And when I got it and I examined it, uh, I thought this was pretty special. Then I took it out on the range and you'll get to see what we did on, with it on the range. And uh, it was very special. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm on some sort of crazy medication to help me get over a chest cold. So. Anyway, let's do a little overview, shall we? Front, starting at the front of the barrel, this is a, it's already set to uh, accept a suppressor, except they also have a barrel that I can uh, do the paperwork for and go through the NFA, and it has an integrated suppressor built into another barrel, so I can do that if I want to. It comes with a very nice fluted barrel, fiber optic sights on the front and back. However, you don't need it because this one has a Crimson Trace red dot sight. The underside of the Tactical Solution stock is where most of the really interesting stuff happens because this is where you can take the gun apart. This is where you, uh, this is where you also hook it back together if you want to. From here, you have the stainless steel bolt. Now the bolt, you can put the charging handle on either side if you want to. It is open and uh, I had no issues with it at all. I don't know if you put the, I, I'm going to presume it still is going to eject the brass from the right. I can't imagine it rerouting it. It comes with a Picatinny rail on top, the binary trigger on the bottom with the safe semi-auto and binary. One thing that, uh, I, with some of the tack saws that I've seen out there, they have the magazine release coming around the trigger guard. This one has more of a, uh, I'm gonna say an AK-47 type release right here. I've already gotten, uh, I think I have three of these uh, 25 round magazines and it comes with one 10 round magazine. The 10 round magazines, if you wish to carry them, you can hold up to I think it's, you can hold three 10 round magazines here in the butt of the weapon. It, I think the whole gun weighs four pounds. It is certainly something to behold. 
let's, uh, and I warn you before we go, before we go to look at what happened on the range, um, it was so much fun to shoot in binary trigger. We shook it out. It was brand spanking new. It had never been fired before. We had to, we, we had a couple of issues and it was primarily with the ammo, with the uh, 22 ammo I did find. But we did shake it out and it was all done with the uh, binary trigger. So I hope you can handle all that fun. Break it down. Some of the takeaways with the weapon, uh, as far as me never having owned one of these before, I, I remember when this came out. I, I think this came out around 2013, the, the, the Ruger 1022 takedown. Some of you may know better than I do. I certainly am not the uh, end all be all on that one. Um, I thought the idea of, of a takedown weapon was a good idea, but I never really thought that much about it beyond that. So when you break it down to this size package, um, if you're gonna go backpacking or something, this would be a good little thing to throw in your backpack. And I mean, a, a brick of 500 rounds of 22 takes up a box about that size. I've got one downstairs. You've seen them before. Um, I have three of these. I may order two more. I think if you have about five of these, I think you're just about covered in any situation that might arise if you, you know, if you're back. And it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure the magazine's going to weigh more than the gun. Um, as you saw in the clip, uh, the gun to put it back into operation, pop, pop, pop. It's two steps and you're firing. Truly splendid. The, I can't, the blending, what makes this special for me is the blending of the Tactical Solutions uh, stock on this gun and what they do to the parts of it, like the, the fluted barrel. I mean, that's just, that just gives you just such a taste of, of, of quality and workmanship and how well thought out this stock is. And then when you combine that, with a binary trigger. And if you're kind enough to put an optic on it, you have quite an impressive little weapon here. Yes, it's 22 long rifle. Uh, is this a tactical gun? I don't know. You got uh, binary trigger enhanced fire that you can send out and you saw how fast it can go. Somebody with a little more uh, discipline than say I had could probably make pretty good use of this in a tactical situation if that's what came up. Um, but having said that, I, you know, this is a very serious rifle. I could see a little bit of small game hunting going on with it. Definitely something you can take out on a camp out. I love it. I love it. I am now a 22 aficionado. So let's talk about a few viewer comments, shall we? Like from the Tenacore holsters, uh, Tenacore concealment holsters video. We get without question, Tenacore holsters are some of my favorites. I use a Centrum religiously. It just fits me and my lifestyle perfectly. Sometimes you have to go through a bunch of holsters and you, you find that one that just clicks with you that you're trying to accomplish. I found that with Tenacore products. That's coming from former Pilgrim. Tenacore makes holsters. Some of the holsters will mold to the gun that you have. And I got this primarily for my Chambers Custom Pistol because although the geometry is a little bit like the STIs or the Staccatos, if you will, uh, it is not exactly the same. So then you have a little bit of a fit problem. The, the Chambers pistol tends to fit a little snug. So the Tenacore holster takes care of that beautifully. And then 
we have the switching from Glock to SIG video, which I've now sort of made that complete. Uh, this will probably be a carry gun that I use very often that you also will get a review from. This is the SIG P320X Compact. And I was, big shout out to my man, Bruce Brucci. He had this in his safe. Now Bruce has one of, Bruce is the original SIG brother. And um, he was kind enough to sell me this. So th thank you, Mr. Brucci. Coming from that video, first we have Maurice O'Ray. He said, it was hitting great as long as I wasn't shooting it, which is something I said in the video. That sounds like me every time at the range. I feel that pain, Maurice. I feel it. And then we get Brian Hamby. And then we get Brian Hamby. Uh, I know I speak for all of those common folk when you, I say thank you for admitting to the frailties of low and left shooting that us mere mortals are also afflicted with. And he goes on to tell me his story about what he's, what he's gone through trying to find that perfect gun. Um, yeah. I hate that. But, you know, the, the journey's sort of fun, isn't it? I think so. So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I talked with my friend Brett Dunn about doing the deep dive on the, on the chambers gun, where the, the range part of it we're talking about. We're coordinating to do that because there's going to be a, a lot of shooting that day. And also now I've got the uh, SIG P320 VTAC, which is a beautiful pistol. And this to take out and test. And, uh, you know, if they shoot as good as my buddy's gun did, I'll be very happy. I know, I know there's a lot of pain going on out there right now, and I share it. <clears throat> but by the same token... This time around, we're going to have to be very actively engaged. And if we all did this, if we all did this, we would win every time. And uh, we got this in us. That's, it's, very, it's very present in us every day. So uh, keep, that, keep that in your head. Keep that up here. Don't let yourself get down by what's going on. And uh, don't let it get you too apprehensive. We always have a say. So, I hope you like this kind of content. I really do. And if you do, maybe you think about giving me a thumbs up. I know some of you know how to do that thumbs down already. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, you can check out the radio show, Lock and Load with Bill Frady. It's at Genesis Communications Network. It comes on 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I've got a lot of affiliates, but I don't have, if you're not there, if you want to contact me and let me know where you are, I will try to get my affiliate relations manager to get the show on a network or a radio station near you. And it is available as a podcast, a whole uh, 226 different ways. So it's out there. And uh, having said that, having said all of that, I am out of here.